Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking about these curves and how I did it and I'm going to go through the whole process with you today. Hey guys, so what I'm going to be talking about today is how I'm going to form my mould for my co-wings. So, if you can see here, I've dry lined all the walls and I've reboarded the ceiling. But what I want to do now is I want to put the picture rail in and I'm going to be putting some little bits of coving and then I'm going to put a curve all the way around with plaster just to make it all match in with the rest of the house. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll run a line all the way from the top of my door all the way around and then I know exactly where that's going to be going. So this is the new tool that I have bought for doing the corners. So this is by Marshalltown. It's called a wipe down blade. So this is what I'm going to try. It's made of rubber. And I think it's going to be perfect for this. And this is, look, feels like it's stiff enough to, to use all the way through. That's roughly, that's the curve that I want. And I've left enough space and I'm going to go to this line here. So I've made sure that I've got enough space to get a trowel in between this area here and this just so that I can try and get a, a nice swipe if I need to and I can also run that way with a small trowel as well as using this. I think that's about 20, 20 centimetres away from the wall. I'm going to measure that all the way around. As you can see we've got it all marked out so that's how this part of the coven is going to be working. So my next point of call now is to stick some bonding on with my new tool, which I'm looking forward to trying out. Right guys, so it's actually working really well so far. I've just put a bit on for now, but this tool's working really well. I'm gonna put my head cam on now so you can see how I'm using it. So as you can see, I just push it in. Get a bit in there. It's got a fair bit of flexibility in it, this, so it's, uh, it's working really well. Just pushing it into the corners. I'll put a bit more in here and I'll wait for this to go off a bit more so that I don't drag it out. But yeah, this is how it's working so far. I'm quite impressed. So what I've been doing is I've been wetting this and just going over it just to try and get the get it all nice and smooth now now it's all on so as you can see it's starting to take shape nicely now um, so that's how it is when you first put it on and then basically you have to let it pull in a little bit but not too much I, I basically got all this room on and then just basically started again so if there's any areas I need to I just put a little bit more stuff in and then yeah, I'm just uh, just feathering it all nicely, basically now. Right, guys. So I've gone over it a couple of times just to try and get it all looking good. Um, I'm just going to wash out, and I'll give it another one in a bit. 
just because you want to get this as good as possible any bumps and stuff you're just going to have trouble when you put your skim on later on so yeah uh, you can see i've started building up this area here as i said it just needs a little bit more time to pull in Right then guys, if you can see now then, these are all now prepared. The lights go in a bit now, but as you can see, all the curves are ready now for the uh, for the skim to go on now. So I definitely recommend getting one of these. These are brilliant, especially for the curves. I reckon these would be brilliant in uh, a conservatory as well. So I'll have to try that next time. It's definitely made life a lot easier. Before I put any skim on, I need to put a rail all the way around and I've got to put a bit at the top as well. So Right guys, I'm all prepared for skimming in the morning. I've got my rails up. Oh, you see? Uh, all the screws have been taken out now. I've uh, put a couple of nails in here and there just to, with my nail gun, just to strengthen it up in a few areas, but it was all pretty strong anyway. I just, since I could, I thought I'd just chuck a couple in. So tomorrow I'll be skimming the ceiling first. I'll be getting inside my bay window. Um, and then I'll be tackling all the way around here. So I'm going to be skimming these curves today. So all this has to be done in one. So I'm just going to slow it down a smidge today. So I'm going to be using some extra time just to make it easier, especially on the curves, just to give me a little bit extra time. Right guys, so this is what it's like at the moment. Um, it's getting there slowly. So initially I had quite a lot of suction from the bonding. I possibly could have uh, unibonded it. Now that it's all on and it's had a couple of trials, it's now uh, come back to me now. So the extra time's kicking in now. So I'm getting a little bit extra to do a bit of playing with it now. So, and it's all starting to look a bit better. I'm starting to, get these corners and brushing in at the top. Um, I don't know how well you can see because obviously the light's changed a bit now. I'll explain what I've been using to do my curves. I've tried, last time I used a bit of old polystyrene COVID and basically used that to try and run it. And it worked okay, but I thought I'd try and find something a bit easier. So I tried this and this seems to be working quite well. So I'm quite happy with how it's gone. And honestly, the extra time 
now that it's started kicking in, is definitely making life a lot more manageable, especially with sides like this because it can be quite fiddly. So you want that little bit extra time just to try and get your corners and stuff. As you can see here, I've got, I'm forming a corner here. This one needs a bit more work. I think this one over here is looking a bit better, but obviously, you know, it's still taking a bit of time, but I just got to take my time with these and keep on going. I'm going to do another run all the way around. guys that was the end of that video so this is the this is the end result of how it all worked out and I'm really pleased with how it all worked so um, if you've got any questions please leave them below and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can thank you very much for watching this video if you like these videos please like and subscribe I drop videos every Tuesday all right guys thank you much for watching I'll see you on the next one bye